see where this all came out very quickly. Tell us how did you learn, when did you learn? Uh, yeah, it's been pr pretty quick. Um, I heard about Celtic for the first time like one and a half a week ago. Um, and obviously I was very interested right away. Uh, but then you also know it's it's a long way from a club being interested to actually signing the contract. So, uh, yeah, so I had still had to focus on my on Elspoir, my former team. Uh, and then now after after the game this Sunday, uh, it got uh, yeah more and more closer. And then yeah, we went here and did a medical and uh, signed this Wednesday. How big a move is this for you in terms of the development of your career? I think it's uh, a big move, uh, perfect move, if I if I could say. Um, Scottish league being better than the Swedish league, but going from uh, one top of the table team to to another, uh, so it feels it feels like a good step for me. Obviously, Carl's left. Did you know Carl? Did you speak to him at all about Celtic? I, I've actually never talked to him. I know him from like I know him professionally, seen him play in the Swedish national team and. And in Celtic, but I never talked to him. Um, I know I've seen that he's a great player and he's done great things here in Celtic. How confident are you that you can take your place in the Celtic defence now that Cal is gone? Hard question to, to answer, but uh, yeah, now now I just focus on uh, like getting to know all the guys, uh, getting in the group, training my first training with the squad tomorrow. So yeah, that's my that's my first focus, and then take these things later on. Challenge must excite you, I imagine. Yeah, very much, very much. It's a big club with uh, high expectations and yeah, so it's going to be a real fun uh, journey, hopefully. Just, just that, did you have interest from any other clubs? And, and if so, why did you pick Celtic? Why did you decide to come here? Yeah, there was uh, interest from other clubs. Um, but, you know, Celtic yeah, with uh, yeah, they have a good Swedish history uh, and then when you feel I said it's yesterday also but when you when you think of Celtic you think of the fans and you think of of the stadium here and Champions League nights and yeah um, so that's like I was really int interested right away and yeah it's a really really great club and all I've seen so far and the receiving I've got is is uh, I'm uh, really happy for for Choosing Celtic. We'll talk about Champions League in a second, but first of all, you mentioned the Swedish history here. How big a part did that play in bringing this to the club? Uh, yeah, I would say it, uh, it was a part of, of the decision. Um, a lot of Swedish players being here before, staying for a long time and doing well. Um, it's a sign that Swedish players can live well and adapt to Scottish football and life in Glasgow. So that was important for me in my, in my decision. Uh, yeah. And Champions League, you mentioned it, the fans here, the atmosphere, it's famous around Europe. How much are you looking forward to, to playing on those big European nights here at Celtic Park? Uh, I, look, I look forward to it. It's like, that's the thing with Celtic also, it's not just about the European nights, it's every home game. It's uh, so many people, so many fans, so passionate. So. Uh, I look forward to, to all the games, but home games is going to be special, of course. Just finally, for me, you've already played for the national team, but how big a platform can this give you if you are playing the Champions League group stage at the top of the Scottish League as well to accelerate your international career? I hope it's a, it's, it's a good... Uh, I can show a lot to the national team coach, but it's not my decision to pick the team. I just focus on... on Getting into the team now and playing well, and then hopefully it will it will sort it out by by itself, and I get the chance in the national team also. Um, we had the two chats, and he like he knows it's a lot of new things in the beginning, not a lot of new new people to meet, uh, so he he didn't want to say too much but we, he welcomed me and said he's really glad to have me here uh, and then I think we'll take more footballing stuff and tactical stuff closer to, to the game this Sunday. Is that something that excites you to work with, with Brendan Rodgers, he's got a track record of developing players and training players, is that something you really feel can help you? 
Yeah, of course, uh, both his record of developing players, young players, and then also his achievements in, in former teams in Celtic the last time he was here, and then in uh, Liverpool and, and Leicester also. So he, I know he's a really good coach, and the impression I've got of him so far is that he's a really good person and a man also. Did you, did you speak to him? Did you played in Scotland? Did you know, or did you sort of advice from him? Did you sort of advice? I talked about. He said that, that he was like he really liked living here in, in Glasgow, and that he and his family really likes it here. Uh, and they said it's a really nice uh, city to live in, and really nice people. And then he uh, said it really you can eat. On a different restaurant every every night of your life, and it's still gonna be amazing. So yeah, he he talked a little bit about how it is living here, and he highly recommended. He said the interest only came about a week and a half ago. It's a very short space of time. Can you give us an insight what that's like in your head when you're having to deal with things moving so quickly? Yeah, as a as a player, you always wanna focus on the things you can control, uh, and yeah, it's hard because you always is we're all human and think about it's a big thing for me. But I just try to focus on the next uh, training and next game for for Elsport uh, until it was like up to me um, and got here. So I try to be as professional as possible. Uh, but of course, like when you're home, you you think about it. Yeah. You must have a situation where you've almost like said to one of your mates, meet your friends, Celtic were interested in me, and then a week later. You're a Celtic player. That must be hard to get your head around for for your friends and family to get their head around. Yeah, I think so too. I I feel sorry for not like calling all of my friends in advance and and telling me. And they probably some of them were were shocked with the, the announcement yesterday and didn't know anything. So uh, I'll I'll apologize to them now. But yeah, it, it happened really fast, and I'm I'm really happy to be here. I heard a few bits and pieces that you're quite. You look at your diet and your sleep and things like that. Is that the case? Is that something you're quite an athlete who looks at what they do off the field? Yeah, I would, I would like to think so. Um, I, I put a lot of time and effort in optimizing how I am on the pitch uh, with sleep, uh, nutrition, and like everything around. And um, just if you're a footballer and you feel well in your life, then you perform better on the pitch. So yeah, it's the whole package and I just trying to get it all as good as possible to, to perform on the pitch. So are you one of the guys who goes and asks the sports scientists at the club for other things, for other information? Do you read things yourself to find new ways to, to make yourself better? Yeah, I've done it in the past in, my, in Sweden. Um, it's not as big clubs uh, as Celtic, of course, um, maybe they didn't have the resources. I, I don't know everything about Celtics like uh, uh, scientific yet, but I'm sure they will help me a lot. And in my former teams, I've t taken a lot of responsibility myself to to develop and uh, invest in, in my career. Just on yourself as a player, a lot of Celtic fans are excited by your signing, but many of them haven't seen you play. How would you describe your game? What kind of attributes you have? Could you perhaps liken yourself to any other players that, that they may know? Well, uh, I will describe myself as a, a player that loves to win, does everything for the team. Uh, can handle both uh, short and long range passes, good in dueling in and uh, in the in the air, and hopefully scores a few goals. Yeah, is there is there anyone that you have modeled your game on as you've been growing up? With specific defenders. I think uh, Virgil van Dijk has been here before. It's a huge inspiration. Also, how he's outside of the pitch and very, very professional and, and keen on getting better all the time. Uh, and on the pitch, of course, with his leadership and uh, uh, dueling and passes. Also, he's, he's a really good player and uh, extra fun with with his Celtic uh, history. Also, yeah, well, obviously, what Virgil's gone on to do has been amazing. Down at Liverpool, the chance of seeing the Premier League can that offer inspiration to players when they arrive at Celtic to see what can be achieved? Oh, it's, I don't like to watch too far forward. Like first, now I just look forward to, to the next training and getting to know all, all my teammates and then it's a game on, on Sunday. Uh, so just try to focus on, on the things I can uh, 
uh, the things I can do, and then hopefully, yeah, it, it goes it goes well. Imagine if you can make the same impact that Virgil made here, you'd be very happy. Yeah, he's been he's a great player for Celtic and did a lot of good things. Uh, uh, so yeah, he's a, he's an inspiration. Just finally, obviously, you've been playing speed through the summer. You must feel fitness wise ready to to play as soon as you're called upon. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's the good thing playing. It's a good thing playing in Sweden. That when you leave in the summer, you're you're match fit. So yeah. I played this game Sunday, ninety minutes. So yeah, I feel I feel ready to play. Good man. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Get the pronunciation. How you like your name to be said, so we get it correct from day one. Yeah. Uh, it's Lager Bjelke. And but my friends and. Former teammates call me Lager. So. <laughs> 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 very popular here. <laughs> <laughs>